Hello and welcome to another PortWorks Lightboard session. My name is Ryan Walner. Today we're going to be talking about PortWorks storage pools. So what I mean by that is how PortWorks divides your different types of storage into pools for your applications. Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch the PX101 or why PortWorks videos, that's a good place to start before you get here. But let's dive in. So PortWorks, as we've talked about before, runs on a set of infrastructure nodes. And these infrastructure nodes may have storage on them, or they may run on the cloud. We're just going to illustrate a few devices here. Now, one may be an SSD. And the other may be, um, say, an NVMe. And this is pretty typical, you know, on prem. Where you'll have different types of storage dedicated to your application nodes um, or storage nodes in this case. The you know, port works typically runs hyperconverged, so that's the way we're going to show it here. Now, port works, when it gets deployed, as we've talked about in prior videos, runs as a container. And Portworks will look at each individual disk that you tell it to. And what it'll actually wind up doing is a, a pretty basic sanity check around the benchmarking, kind of the performance, what type of disk it is, etc. And what Portworks will do is create a pool based on like disks, right? So now what we wind up with is an SSD based and an NVMe based because they uh, will be assigned by Portworks to the associated pool based on size and type of disk. Um, and again, NVMe will go down here. And uh, you know, say NVMEs are a terabyte, you'll have a total of three terabytes in SSDs, you know, 100 gigabytes or 300 gigabytes associated with here. Now, Portworks will give these names such as uh, fast or uh, medium. And these are essentially your storage pools, right? Storage pool one, storage pool two and they have a disk associated with them. Now, when you're deploying your application, your application may have a disk, and in those parameters, you can associate the uh, I.O. priority to fast. This will essentially make sure that this Virtual volume is provisioned from the uh, fastest pool available. In this case, it would be our NVMe nodes. Now, you can do this across different types of disks in the cloud, on prem. Uh, it works kind of generically across the different types of uh, disks you may be provisioned, whether it's you know, PD SSD in Google Cloud or general purpose SSDs in AWS or NVMEs on hardware. That is an overview of storage pools and how they generally work with Portworx. Thanks for watching. Until next time.